I think I'm live. Hello, Facebook family. It's Renee Chambers Lisiaga, and I'm live in my dining room uh, with my bottled water and a script. <laughs> I just had finished having a uh, live Zoom audition session, uh, and this was sent from my agents up in New York for a uh, huge national uh, uh, brand. And um, it was it was great. Uh, one thing I need to let you all know is uh, sometimes when I'm on Instagram or if I'm on WebEx or if I'm doing my private coaching with some of my students, on my phone settings, when you go to settings, I will turn off my, um, I will keep the Wi-Fi on and turn off the airplane mode so that I won't get like notices and a whole bunch of noise and things happening while I'm in a session. Well, uh, I just had a huge Zoom audition and uh, what ended up happening was I had to go back into my settings, yes, while like like two minutes before, ah, two minutes before the audition, I had to go into my settings and then I had to, to go off of my Wi-Fi, even though I'm home, and to go off of airplane mode. So, you know, everything else was, you know, crisp as far as uh, the visuals and everything like that for, you know, making sure you have a plane. If you have a, a you know, an off white or white or blank wall, it shouldn't be dark. I had patterns because it's for a specific clothing company. So I was allowed to wear patterns today. Usually you're not supposed to do stripes or polka dots, no logos, all that jazz. But, you know, I had mama had to like sass it up a bit today, which was a lot of fun. Plus I had my curly hair on today. So, um, um, which was a lot of fun to, uh, to be able to do that. Uh, so what I ended up having to do was going back, go back into my settings on my phone. I'm not on Android. It doesn't matter if you're on, you know, if you have an Apple or an Android and you need to take both of those off so that uh, when they're pulling the sound, uh, the engineers and everybody that's on the other side, the clients, uh, that they can pull that sound off and, and keep it just as crisp and clear so there's not a delay. So I'm continuing to learn uh, all these different tech tricks as well too uh, as you know we were what coming on our six and a half seventh month of being in lockdown but things are opening back up. They are doing a lot of commercials, uh, commercial castings via whether it's Zoom or WebEx or video submitting and then sending it back into your agent and then them submitting it to the client. But uh, every once in a while, it's so much fun to get the chance to actually meet the clients that you are auditioning for and they get to direct you. So I was directed today uh, with my script with uh, different things to say and how to say it, being a sassy mom of two teens in her 50s and being really serious and playing straight to the camera. And then of course, doing a little fashion modeling and doing a little movement. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, so also as well to just make sure you know, if, if you do have your script, and I got my script last minute, uh, you know, and, and you're not great with memorization, you know, you can print it up, you can put it, you know, near, on top of, around, underneath, yes, of your, of your phone while you are having that interaction with the clients, and just make sure you glance down a little, take your time, and then, you know, read the line and, and, and make sure that you are maintaining uh, the flow. Yes, and, uh, and, and don't stop. That's the one thing. Do not stop. If you have an idea of the product that you're selling and you're listening to the client, they will direct you. Sometimes they will either feed you your lines because they want you to say it specific. Yeah, they want your you know, voice to go up or they want it to go down or they want you to be more sassy or they want you to have more energy or they want it more straight and more plain. Yes. So, you know, break legs, everyone that's out there, all my friends up in New York, whether or not you're, you know, you're, you know, on call for your SAG or non-union commercials. There's a lot of uh, things happening, going on. Uh, they're shooting a lot remote, like literally I did, um, too many Zoom parties in Pennsylvania a couple of months ago. So it's right from, from my garage. Uh, but the sound crew and the technicians took over my audio and my sound and then I had to send it in and they do the whole SMPTE thing, which I kind of don't understand. And this, it's a whole code thing that, you know, so that everybody is in time uh, and, and, and the sound and, and your volume and everything is crisp and clean, especially when you're doing a commercial 
and you're not there on set. Yes. So such is life. This, this is the new way. This is the new way that uh, we are doing things in our industry. So, you know, for all my friends out there in New York City, I know that Broadway is not opening and there's no tours going out. But I know many of you are doing, you know, uh, the live um, chats, the cabaret chats online. And um, some of you that are my musician friends, you're playing you know, uh, at, at Birdland or you're doing the jazz concert series, you know, at the Blue Note, uh, you know, with your Venmo jar and your monies and your tips. So we've got to continue to keep it moving. Yes. Keep creating, uh, keep thinking outside of the box, uh, just as Prism uh, Center Theater did with Tarzan. We still have two more weekends to go uh, with the shows out in Norristown at the zoo outside. Uh, we're social distancing. People are in their cars. They don't even get out. The stage is 35 to 40 feet, even from the driving uh, area where people are parked. So we are thinking outside of the box. Think, think, think outside of that box. Uh, continue to make it work. Uh, and for those of us that are waiting, continue to keep practicing your craft, your vocals, your dance, your monologues, whatever it may be. Yes, keep practicing on figuring out, oh, okay, well, if I have a live Zoom with the clients, you know, what does my sound sound like? What, is, what do I look like on, on, on camera? You know, what are the angles? Everybody does horizontal. I'm coming to you vertical today because it's, it is what it is. Yeah, on Facebook or when you're doing the live stuff, vertical is easier. But make sure, you know, your camera is horizontal. Make sure you have a clean, crisp, as clean as possible background. Yes, they don't want to see a whole bunch of junk in the background. Uh, as I said, I was able to kind of get, you know, a little bit sassy and nifty and, you know, put some, you know, earrings on and bling and some lipstick and, you know, zhuzh myself up because it's for a clothing brand. So I was, you know, this was approved for me to be able to wear patterns, but usually you want to have just your basic solid colors, no stripes, no polka dots, no, definitely no, no, no logos, you know, or anything that's crazy in the background, because why the clients and the producers that want to hire you as talent want to see you. They just want to see you and nothing else. They don't want to see anything extra in the background that they can get distracted from. Hence, I don't do a lot of my recordings in my office unless somebody was, is like, hey, hey, Renee, we love your office and, you know, all your Broadway posters and all the shows you've been in. Yeah, we're just going to do something like that, which doesn't happen. <laughs> so make sure it's in a clean, yeah, clean, clean backdrop. Yes. Um, whether, you know, whether it's for a non-union, a union commercial, whatever it is, an infomercial. I've done a lot of infomercials uh, in the Pennsylvania and, and South Jersey area and Princeton area. Let's see who's waving to me. Hey, Cecil. Hey, Robert Nolan. How are you? Martin. The Gates deal. Und. I have friends from all over the world. Hey, Dino. How are you? I hope all is well with you. Jamie. Hi, Jamie from North Jersey. There's a whole bunch of people. Wow. Okay. Martin. 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 He's the man. He was the man that did our fabulous makeup in Starlight Express 30 something years ago when I first did Starlight Express. Uh, Martin, we're hoping, fingers crossed and praying that Starlight Bochum opens back up. It would be 33 years, I think, right? Uh, Michael Rand is the new artistic director there and he's just incredible and amazing. Uh, I miss all of you in Germany. Yeah, so once we get to hugs and kisses to my Deutschland family. And uh, Robert, what's shaking? Um, are you still with Alan Wasser Associates? Uh, Robert Nolan Cecil, he was our production manager, tour manager for the first national tour of Starlight Express many, many, many years ago. And he was amazing. We had a hoot. We had a blast uh, on that tour. He kept us all safe and on the plane and on the trains and wherever we had to go for like a year and a half um, after the Starlight, uh, after the Broadway production closed and we did the US tour. And then we went on to go do Germany and then come back home. So, um, you know, Robert Nolan, it's just awesome to see you, uh, here hanging out, uh, give a shout, give a, give a thumbs up as well too. Uh, but yeah, I, I, um, it's just really exciting to uh, see a lot of the clients and producers really thinking outside the box. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do in New York city yeah, for Broadway. I know it's just been really tough, uh, not just for the performers and the musicians, <laughs> But hair and makeup team and stage crew, IATSE, all, you know, everyone, you know, the producers, production stage managers, uh, it, it takes a village. It's a whole team of hundreds of people just to put up one show. And uh, so the Actors Fund, actually, there is a seminar, I think, coming up 
uh, in about a half hour for the Actors Fund, and I'm going to be uh, plugged into that as well, too, uh, so that I can continue to encourage. I know that Brenda Braxton is doing, what is it? She's doing the um, the, the benefits as well, too, for the Actors Fund with uh, Seth Rudetsky. They're raising monies as well, and she's interviewing a whole bunch of people because we're all not, we're not working. We are not twirling on set. Not unless, you know, we're doing uh, uh, Jerry McIntyre's production of Godspell that he just did up in the Berkshires. Congratulations, Jerry. That's amazing. Uh, or, you know, or, or you're doing, you know, your print or commercial work and you're on set, you know, and everybody's masked. You do your thing and you go home. Uh, but I truly miss live theater. I miss coaching it. Uh, I miss directing and choreographing uh, down here in my area. So, um, but we want to keep everybody safe. Yes. So please, 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 please wear that mask. Make that mask look good, Charles. Go put, you know, do your eyes up, do some makeup. Put that mask on when you have to go out, yes? And, uh, you know, let's just continue to keep it moving, continue to keep growing, continue to encourage one another. But uh, this was one of my tips for the day. So take off your airplane mode. Uh, take off your Wi-Fi mode if you're in the home and use your data when you are doing a live Zoom or web uh, WebEx uh, audition, for, especially for New York City, for the clients in New York. So... Renee signing off. Everybody have a great Thursday, a blessed Thursday, and let's make it do what it do. Yeah, let's keep keep creating, singing and dancing and, and producing and writing however we need to continue to get those thoughts uh, and those emotions and those things out because that's what brings us all together. Yes, as a family, the arts heal. And um, I'm just so grateful and thankful that um, I've, I'm continuing and then I'm, I'm in my act two now, you know, at 50, 50 plus, 50 and nifty. And I'm in my act two, act one. I was doing all the theater shows and touring and traveling as a performer. And now I'm at act two and uh, I am giving back and coaching my students. And many of them were on tours and uh, at the Walnut Street Theater and regional theaters. My younger, my teeny weenies, I call them my Broadway babies. So, um, but they, I am still training them virtually to get, you know, to keep them moving. Yeah, just because COVID has happened doesn't mean that we need to stop. We need to continue to work on our craft and our skills, uh, continue to encourage one another. Yeah, so if we're painting for my fine artists, for my musician friends, keep keep the arts, keep it going. It's in us. So keep it going. Keep sharing with one another. So take care, everybody. Have a great Thursday. Fingers crossed for me. Hey, hopefully I get a call back. But now I know what to do so that I can make sure that my clients get the best sound out of my phone when we're going live, when you're doing live submissions. All right. So take care, everyone. Have a blessed day. And Mama is signing off. Bye. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir.